Hey Savvy Devs, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be continuing our C, C++ programming series by getting our environment ready for a project that we're creating. Let's go ahead and start up uh, Visual Studio Code. So give me a moment here. Launch that. So sometimes uh, the setup can take a while just to get things right before you can uh, get to programming. So it's very important that we install the proper extensions here in our Visual Studio Code IDE. What I have in front of me is the Hello World program that we created last time in the first part to the series, where we installed a few extensions for Visual Studio Code, as well as showed you around Visual Studio Code and how to use it in Linux. And you can also use it the same in Windows and Mac OS and platforms as well. So let me go ahead and make this my main view here. Give me a moment. I think it's zoomed in far enough, but uh, we want to go to appearance and then the full screen mode. That way we only are looking at Visual Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller here. Actually, can't go any smaller, so that's where we'll keep it. We got our main CPP program here, and you see what's inside of that. We just have a main function. And in that main function, we just spit out hello world. So since uh, Visual Studio Code here doesn't have an easy way of compiling multiple files together, we will install a new extension called make. This extension will help generate a make file for our project and allow us to compile multiple source files together very easily, no matter how many we have. This will definitely be useful for down the road. Let's go to the uh, extensions. As you can see, we do have two extensions that we installed from the last video, but we're actually going to search for another one. And uh, these make files that are generated can be uh, pretty involved, but make itself is an awesome tool which only builds changes in files that have been edited, so you don't necessarily have to recompile the entire program every time you make a change. Instead, it just compiles the small changes that you made in individual files instead of the overall project, saving you a lot of time. Let's see if we can find make in here. I think if we just type in make, we should be able to find it. And I don't actually see it, so let's go ahead and do C++ make. Maybe this is a better way of finding it. No, but uh, what you can see here is the C slash C++ make file. Let's try that. C C++ make file. Well, that pushes it up the list a little bit more, but it's not obvious. This is actually the one we want. So it's called the C slash C++ make file extension. And uh, it has project at the end of that. So C slash C++ make file project. It's been downloaded over 3,000 times. And it says it creates a C C++ project with pre-configured make file. You can also scroll down and read more about it if you want, but it's a very easy tool to use and you don't actually have to create your own make file instead it generates it for you. There's plenty of documentation available for make and how to create make files on the web and we'll just focus on generating one here in Visual Studio Code today and not get too involved in the inner workings. We'll save that for another video in the future. Let's just go ahead and get this project compiled and running. So first, let's install this extension, and it should be fairly quick to install here. After we've installed it, we can go ahead and exit out and go back to, uh, let's see, let's go back to our main CPP file in the File Explorer. Also, make sure to uh, take a moment and subscribe to the channel so you can keep following the series, as well as viewing different content that's constantly being released about Linux and programming here on our channel. So after installing that extension, we're going to use the command palette in order to uh, generate our make file. So if we just do hit this little cog here and hit the command palette or you can do control shift P as it says here. Go ahead and you'll get a little small terminal to type into or console. Let's see if we can search for make and if we type in make you see that we have this C C++ make init project and that's what we want. So after you click that you will get an option on four different things here, either a C project, a C++ project, a C only make file, or a C++ make file only. What we want is a C++ project because that's what we're going to be writing our project in, but don't worry because that also includes C. So go ahead and click that, and now a file will be generated right in front of you. As you can tell, there's quite a bit to this file here, but uh, we won't let this confuse us too much. Instead, Let's go ahead and just make small edits to here. 
So the section we're gonna look for is this one right here that says make file settings can be customized. So it asks you for an app name. So what do you wanna call this app? Let's call it simple list. And the type of extensions that we want to compile, we want to compile C++ extensions or .cpp files, so that's fine for us. Another thing that we have here is the source directory which the source directory will be wherever your project currently exists on the computer, so the directory where the project is. So let's go ahead and figure that out real quick. If I press Alt, I'll get uh, some options here up at the top. So I can go ahead and go to uh, Terminal. Let's see, actually I want to view and change this up so I can see an output terminal here. So Terminal, hopefully that, there we go. So now I get a terminal to my Linux computer and I will just print out where my project is currently located. So if I do PWD, I see that my project is located at home, Savvy Nick, Documents, Simple List. Yours might be somewhere else if you have it saved somewhere else and you probably don't have the username Savvy Nick. So make sure that you put in whatever directory that your project is located in. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to change the source to be that location. So you can see my source directory is now home, Savvy Nick, documents, simple list, and that should be enough changes for us in order to compile the project. All I do is uh, save the make file, which now it's saved. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. And now we have two files here, the main CPP file and the make file, which are both located in the simple list directory. And below here, we can issue a command in um, the documents simple list directory called simply make. If we press that in, enter, make will automatically compile any object that it finds in the simple list directory. So I found a main CPP file and simply compiled that file for us and created an object and then even linked it for us. So make simply just went ahead through all of our files. And since we really have one source file, the main CPP file, it went ahead, found that file, compiled it for us, and now we have an object that was created and a program that was created. So what did we call that? If I just do ls here, I'm just gonna list out what we have. We have the simple list. And why is it called simple list? Because we told the make file to call it simple list once it got compiled right here with the app name, simple list. So in order to run this, at least here, in this terminal, we can just do dot slash simple list if we press enter look at that we have hello world which is what the main cpp file should be doing we have uh, a main function and that function just spits out some text called uh, that says hello world and creates a new line after that it returns a zero meaning everything executed successfully in this program and congratulations, you've successfully ran your first Makefile project. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and make some edits to the project and start our own simple list C, C++ project. We'll continue to build onto this project as the series progresses and plan on creating a simple program that allows you to create and keep track of a list of items. The program we'll be creating will be very similar to, uh, let's say, a to-do list or like a reminder list, but uh, very, a very simple version of that, which will uh, use the console, this terminal, to display all the contents of the list, as well as uh, make changes to that list. So this is great because we've made a lot of headway here. So uh, we'll save that start of the programming for the next episode in the series, since at this point, we should have all the tools necessary and extensions to properly build the project. I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video on setting up Visual Studio Code IDE for C, C++ programming and a make file. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, make sure to post them in the comments section below. And also take a moment to like and subscribe for future videos and to follow this series. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another episode.